Now let's see. Um, uh, so a little bit of a disappointment. Yeah, it's all right. You know what? But it's uh, <laughs> it's just game two. We still got. Uh, you know, we can always come back in game three. I feel like uh, uh, we just weren't focused. Uh, you know, this uh, last night and that's right. But um, but I, I think uh, you know, after getting on the same page, uh, coach uh, told us a lot of things we did wrong. I think uh, I think tomorrow's going to be uh, a much better game. A much better game. Absolutely. Sorry to the fans. Yeah. Sorry to the. To I feel the whole like team. my effort wasn't there. I I, I was actually on a bender. Um, you know, the night before, that probably shouldn't have happened. And I put 125% into it, so I couldn't have been any better than that. Yeah, so. well, I, I literally, um, I put a negative 72% into it, and so when you add those up, you know, it's... You it, get math. It, you, yeah. <laughs> you get math. <laughs> exactly. It happens. Keep, keep, if I can jump in, please, we've only got you guys for 15 minutes. So. No, no, we're going to talk more about this. <laughs> <laughs> this, this. This fake game that we're out playing. No, no, but go ahead. Um, Early on, in, in, in some of your earlier scenes in The Walking Dead, did you feel that the humour that was being injected into your character, were you concerned, I mean, it certainly didn't transpire to be the case, but were you concerned that some of that humour might be a bit jarring and out of context with, with the genre that you were working in? What are you trying to say? I was very, I was very <laughs> jarring. No, it was, uh, you know, it's, it's funny because I, I per, yeah, it was, it, was, it was jarring because, I mean, I've been a fan of the show from the beginning, and then I'm reading these sides... I mean, it was like I was talking to a dog named Santiago, and not Ezekiel was like Mr. Like Yoshimaru or something like that. And um, I really was like, it's fruit time. Okay, well, this is just the, the, the fake sides. And then when the real script came out, I'm like, oh, I say all those things. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, but when, we, when we were shooting it, I was, he was worried so about nervous. it. I was not. I, I knew that we needed to be the light in the darkness, yeah. you know? And so, uh, and so um, yeah, Cooper was, uh, he, he was a little, you know, worried about how <laughs> it was going to come off. And I kept telling him, Dan, you're doing great. This is going to be awesome. And I saw the, the, the first cut of the, uh, of the, the uh, episode before he did. And I immediately called him and I was like, dude, everybody is going to love you. I cannot wait for you to see it. And he was like, are you sure? Because I was worried about this. And I was like, you got nothing to worry about, man. And, and obviously, you know, he, he just exudes his Cooperness, <laughs> you know, uh, on, on the screen. And, um, and uh, I'm happy to report that I was exactly right. <laughs> yes, you were. <laughs> I was, it was one of those things where I'm like, oh, here we go. Like Halloween came and that, that episode was airing. I was like, it's like. Uh, and then it was when um, I guess it was when Talking Dead came on, and yeah. my phone, which I had notifications for everything, it started. It was at ninety percent before I watched the episode, and then my pocket started getting like burning up. It started getting really hot. And I took my phone out. It was like drained to twenty percent, and like Instagram, Twitter, all the social media is like, oh, all right. So I need to change notifications. Now. <laughs> you got to so, turn yeah. those off. Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That was awesome. I mean, talking about that uh, tension, I guess, between optimism and pessimism, I think obviously the show as it's gone along has kind of um, drifted in different directions. And in terms of the ultimate destiny of this world, do you think that we're heading towards an optimistic place like the kingdom would represent? Or do you, do you think that ultimately um, this is the world of The Walking Dead has to end badly? I think we gotta be optimistic. About I think that. we gotta be optimistic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like uh, you, you've, only, uh, you, you've only got really. The the, uh, the the winners always end up optimistic, you know. It's uh, and and honestly, I think that's how you end up winning in the fir in the first place. You know, the uh, it's um, the the j just like in this this industry, uh, you know, uh, you've got to keep your head up and stay hopeful. You know, and that's how you get to the, this point. I've been doing this for twenty years. People think that I just made it. I made it a long time ago when I decided that this was my passion and this was my energy and I was going to be positive in my outlook, you know, and no matter how many times people told me no, you know, I, I was going to I was going to keep my head up and keep on going. And so uh, and so the even even in, in an apocalypse, you know, it's the people who keep their head up and stay positive. At the end of the day, those are the people that are going to that are going to be uh, winning. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take Carl's positiveness yeah. and take take it all away. We're gonna bring it to that game tomorrow. Absolutely. The character has had some, some quite strong emotional scenes with Millicent the Bride's mm. character. Um, do you think now that the Shadow of War is over, that the writers are gonna develop that the characterization, well, their relationship a bit deeper? I suppose you got more time to do that if uh, you know if you're not constantly uh, you know looking over your shoulder and. Yeah. And uh, you know, and uh, firing shots, but uh, but yeah, I, I suppose um, you know, time will tell, and and we'll uh, we'll just have to see. Whenever I think they're gonna zig, they end up zagging. Yeah. You know, 
we'll all have to tune in I mean, in I've, October. I've been shipping it since you know 2016, so you know we'll see how this goes through. He has he has been he has been shipping pretty hard. Yeah. Absolutely. I think of a lot of ships. Lots of shipping. Yes. What, exactly. What have your fan attractions in London been like? Have you seen any really impressive cosplays or encountered a particularly memorable fan? Uh, you know what? My my most memorable fans have been my my Teen Titans fans. Yeah. I, actually, my tiny little Teen Titans fans dressed up as Beast Boy and uh, and Ravens. Starfire and Raven. <laughs> they yeah, a lot. I mean, some amazing Raven costumes have come through. Yeah, it's I, been uh, been like, pretty good. We had a whole family of uh, the Kingdom that yeah. came through. The tiniest, cutest little Jerry I've ever seen. <laughs> came through it was pretty awesome i missed them they were there the friday and it was a little oh Jerry. yeah that's right I, I tweeted back at them i was like i'm so sorry i won't be there yeah but you know we've got to make this tv show first yeah and then we come to do the uh yeah, yeah i guess that's important yeah that, that whole thing <laughs> the king is this great oratory kind of theatrical figure in the walking dead and both of your characters are quite invested in that story mm -hmm. what do you think the role is of having that fantasy within the walking dead universe well, I don't think it's a fantasy. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't even think it's a role anymore. It's yeah, like, yeah, it's it's who we are. It's how we uh, how yeah. we overcome the darkness, you know, in a uh, in this uh, this crazy world where where like we said, there's dead people walking around. Yeah, there are dead people walking, eating people, people shooting. Like we have these, you know, this BMX armor. You know, we would get these messages like that's not gonna stop bullets. It's like we didn't think bullets were the thing we had to worry about. <laughs> right. I thought things were gonna bite us. Yeah. Again. Carl could have used some chest protection. Exactly. It would have, dude, yeah. if he'd have had on, had yeah. on a little bit of uh, kingdom armor. Yeah. That we, would have been, I mean, that was just right there. Boom, right yeah. there. I'm telling you. A little you, softball. We got I mean, a little strap on. thing going yeah. right there. Catcher. Knock yeah. Been, I think it's fine. testament to your performances that some people do get confused and think it's a documentary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's pretty good. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. <laughs> if you woke up tomorrow and it was the zombie apocalypse, what would be your Z day plan? What would be the plan? My, my, huh? I mean, I would hopefully. I would see probably the phone head to REI. Yeah. You know, get 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 uh get get some camping equipment. Maybe uh maybe head to uh, also a sporting goods place. Yep. You know, go ahead and armor up. Absolutely. For sure. I definitely start growing my dreadlocks. Yeah, that would be the time. First thing first. I would make sure I have a lot of oil for my hair. Make mm -hmm. sure so it's nice and slick all the time. Absolutely. Um, I would probably make sure if, like, I would have just lots of my weapon of choice would be six machetes. Yeah. Yeah. Just Absolutely. Just get stuck in one. Hey, look. Backups. Yeah, there Here you go. There go. Cobbler. Lots of cobbler. Lots of cobbler, yeah. Make sure we got, like, yeah, a, a nice hot oven. Yeah. I'd carry know? a trailer of, like, a fruit tree. Mm -hmm. Just be a little, little <laughs> radio flyer walking Absolutely. by. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Different kinds of cobblers. Of course, yeah. Seasonal. All about it. Yeah. Are any of you fans of the comics? Um, have you read the comics before the TV show? You know, I hadn't read the comics before the TV show, and uh, and I, I started reading the comics and we got very into them, and uh, I ha had to learn to divorce myself from the TV show and the comic because because the, the characterizations, you know, uh, yeah. actually kind of threw me off a little bit because they do kind of zig and zag away from the uh, the, the comics. So so uh, I al although I love them, I have to take it with a grain of salt when I'm thinking about the role. Yeah. And I, I, I was a fan of the show. I didn't know it was a comic. I mean, I knew, I mean, I did know before I was on it, but um, it's one of those things where I, I don't know, I like watching the movie, and then once I know that movie's done, I'm going to start right, reading. Right, it's right. the same with me for the comics. Like, it's, yeah, it's not like a, it was pretty I love cool. comics. I yeah, it was say. pretty cool to see that first scene with Carol and, and, uh, and, and Ezekiel, and then to read the, uh, the scene with, um, Michonne and, and Ezekiel in the in the comics and see that it was almost verbatim. Yeah. It was kind of amazing to see that. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody else? Dude, one from the cowboy. Come yeah, on. Yeah, come on. You can't dress like that and not have something ready. I find the, watching The Walking Dead, uh, it, it got to the point, I don't know, you feel the same way about watching it, but do you feel like you got depressed in it because there's people dying all the time? Did you get anxiety? Well, okay. you know what? It's uh, it, it it does give you anxiety and it, and uh, they they kind of sew you up, sew up your heart, just so they can rip it out again. But uh, but I think that's what we love about the kingdom. Yeah, is that uh, it's that is despite the darkness, you know, uh, you fight through it. You know, and I think that's why people keep watching. I have so many people who have tattooed, and yet I smile 
on their arm, on their back, <laughs> on their shit, you know, come and and uh, and it's and it's like despite you know the, their cancer treatment, their depression, they're just hardship in life or whatever. I, they're, they're like they're like you smile through it, the king smiles through it, I smile through it. Yeah. You know, yeah, I love that. And then uh, yeah, I mean, I guess the the thing about it, how I think of the show, I mean, it's kind of like, do you get a dog? You know, and not that we're dogs, just saying, or we're not dogs. I'd like to be as cute as a dog, but I'm saying is that uh, you know you have 12, 15 years with one. Um, and then you still have this whole life. And with the TV show, I mean, there's so many times where you do a role and then they're like, I'm going to go off and work on that in that camp in like, uh, you know, in South America. So I won't be on the show anymore. It's like, I, but they're gone right. regardless, you know, and it's the same thing. I kind of like the, I like that finality when it's like, okay, they're definitely never coming back. Not gonna, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. They are gone. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. yeah there's, so there's something. I don't know. I like and we that always completion. see him at the cons, which is nice. Yeah, yeah. And then we, you know, then it's like, oh, what are you working on? It's like, oh, that massive movie. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not sweating. Perfect. That must be so exactly, nice. Exactly. Yeah. How yeah. happy you must be. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You get you get uh, you get put through the the ringer on this show, man. Yeah. It's hot and nasty and sweaty, and you love it. Yeah. There's but, never uh, a day where I don't have an injury from that show. <laughs> I get injured somehow in like some minor way. And it's like, oh, where did that come from? Right. Whatever. You yeah, know, exactly. that's just, that's the nature of the show. Mm. We can like them. I was just going to say, being working on a zombie show for so long and getting so involved in it, do you now just dream zombies? I have <laughs> never dreamt zombies. I haven't. No. I have never dreamt a zombie. And I think I've fired on the show, I think I've fired on more more people than I have it's zombies true. on this show. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we, we came in when it was really about the fight with the yeah. people more than with the zombies. And, uh, and uh, I was really excited, actually, uh, even though it was one of the most gut-wrenching scenes was when, when Shiva died. But it was also... Uh, I, I I killed like four uh, walkers yeah. in a row, and I was like, finally, yeah, I get to you know I get I get to uh, you know uh, uh, save the day for um, for uh, 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 Cooper and Jerry just a little bit, you yeah. know, uh, after he uh, you know splits that one dude in two. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I liked that moment. I mean, I, I almost passed out five times during it, but you know, I did. Like yeah, that. yeah, <laughs> it was hot and it was muggy and it was awful and it was awesome. Yeah, great boot camp of an episode. Absolutely. <laughs> We can let you go and get a shower and maybe a massage and a rest. <laughs> yes, yeah, we need the oils. I, yeah, yeah, dude. I, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, where's the massage? That's awesome. I can't <laughs> yeah, wait. what table? What massage? Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank you. Take care. Please subscribe to the channel. Click the little bell for notifications. Otherwise, you don't get told when there are any videos out. I'm trying to put videos out every single Friday, though. So do come back sort of Friday at some unspecified time. And there will be videos up every week now. And I will see you guys soon.